I could not be more excited about this recipe. It's gluten-free. My kids love it. Your kids are gonna love it. It's a win-win for everyone. And this right here is the secret ingredient. We are talking buckwheat pancakes. And don't let the name fool you. Buckwheat is actually not even related to wheat. It's not a grain, it's actually a seed. So don't let the name buckwheat turn you off, turn you away, especially you gluten-free people. Buckwheat flour, one cup of our flour. One teaspoon of baking powder, a fourth teaspoon of baking soda, a fourth of a teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and about an eighth of a teaspoon cardamom. I'm just gonna sprinkle it in there though. Okay, the first time I ever tried cardamom was when a neighbor brought me some pumpkin bread. And it was the most amazing pumpkin bread I'd ever had. And I asked her for the recipe and on it it said cardamom and I'd never even heard of it. And ever since then, if ever, I can use cardamom, cardamom, cardamom in a recipe, I do it. And this pairs so well with our buckwheat flour because buckwheat has kind of a nutty, toasty flavor to it. And this pairs so perfectly with it. It's, it's such a unique spice and I love it. After we have our dry ingredients, I'm just gonna mix that all together and then we are ready for all of our wet ingredients. One cup of nut milk. I'm using a coconut milk today. One egg. One tablespoon of maple syrup. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. Gotta be Mexican, right? Always. Always. Two tablespoons of unsweetened applesauce. And then we mix. Stomach is growling, I'm ready. The reason that I'm so excited about making these buckwheat pancakes is I first had buckwheat pancakes years ago when Stu was doing his Whole30 challenge. I was trying to find a restaurant that he could eat at, that was Whole30 approved, that the whole family could enjoy. And I found Roots Cafe, it's this cute little place up in Salt Lake City and they have an amazing menu, but they had these buckwheat pancakes that I have like thought about for years. You always years. talk about I them. always talk about like, them. Like literally. Every time we go up north up to Salt Lake, I try to fit in a Roots Cafe visit. It usually doesn't happen, but for my birthday this last year, Paul made it happen. Oh, yeah. We got the buckwheat pancakes and I was like, I have to recreate this recipe. So here it is. I'm so excited. This is gonna be a regular weekend special for our family. Cause like I said, the kids love it. I can eat it being gluten free. And so I don't have to make multiple batches of pancakes or waffles or breakfast. We can all enjoy the same thing. If I were making this for my whole family, I would double the recipe and that's like the perfect amount for us. Mm -hmm. I'm just cooking for me, Paul and me but we're hungry. So they're at school right now, so we're able to just- Enjoy and relax. Devour and these ourselves. The we're bubbling on top like that. It's ready to flip. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. I am so freaking excited about this. My favorite way to top these pancakes are with all the beautiful berries. Okay, so um, I'm ready to die. I'm, I'm starving. So ready. It smells so good. Should we go? Let's go, go for it. Let's go. How do you eat a stack of pancakes like this? I don't know. This is usually just for pictures. It actually is not functional <laughs> whatsoever. Anybody do Big this? 
How many stacks do you guys do? Leave that in the comments. Two, three. I'm usually like a two guy. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a real pound cake, right? I mean, it's been a while Not since Not necessarily, I've... but. Well, like the texture. Yeah, it's kind of like. It's a little bit. It's grainy. Like. Because if it's you not see a bad the thing. batter, it's got those little specks in it. And I love it. I'm like a fan of that. Yeah, it, it's definitely like not your butter, buttermilk pancake. From what I remember. I remember yeah, this. Yeah, it's been like how many years since you've had a normal pancake? That. This is it's so been like good. four years since she's had a normal pancake. But it does taste amazing. So that's the thing about this one that we love. Because like oftentimes Laura will make breakfast for myself and the kids. It's like different than hers because it includes gluten. This one, everybody can enjoy. The whole family is gonna love it. Mm -hmm. You gotta use the pure maple syrup though on top. None of this like sugar-free chemical. Yeah, garbage. None of that. It's gotta be the pure maple syrup. Uh -huh. So good. Cheers. Yeah. Because I love to have, with. yeah, cookie butter, Trader Joe's. That's a must, and our kids love that too. You know, it's, it's too good. sugary for you. No, or it's gluten filled. It's made oh, out of cookies. cookies. Just we, I think we needed to like so. inhale this, the rest of this off scene. You guys, will, this is yeah. gonna be a little too graphic for you guys to watch. 